Welcome to Excel in a minute. A pivot table is an Excel tool that allows users to summarize data. And summarizing data includes totals that have two main types, the grand totals and the subtotals. In this video, we will show you how to work with subtotals in Excel's pivot tables by understanding its basics. Before we start working with subtotals, let us first understand what it is in a pivot table. Subtotals are the totals for each row label. When working with subtotals, there are three basic things to remember. First, your pivot table must have more than one field in the rows area. Otherwise, you won't see any rows subtotals. Take a look at this pivot table. It does not have subtotals since the years field is the only field in the rows area. If we add another field, then we will have subtotals in our pivot table. Second, subtotals have fixed values. Unlike grand totals, subtotals are independent of other row items. Let's go back to the initial pivot table with only one field in the rows area. Take a look at the sales count of each sales representative for each year. If we add another field to the rows area, the sales count will not change. Adding another field shows the subtotals and the breakdown for each subtotal according to the items of the added field. However, keep in mind that the order of the fields in the rows area greatly matters. If we switch the position of the fields, the subtotals will change since the rows label are changed. Third, these can be enabled and disabled based on your preference. Suppose you want to show the subtotals on a new row at the bottom of each group. To do that, click anywhere inside the pivot table. Then go to the Design tab. In the Layout group, click Subtotals. These are the three basic layout options for subtotals. You can either disable the subtotals or enable them by showing them in either of the two different options. And since we want to show the subtotals at the bottom of each group, select the second option. And that's it. Summarizing your data with pivot tables is easier and more efficient if you understand how to use its basic tools. Watch our other videos to learn more about pivot tables. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.